Alright, <clears throat> let's talk about how to use Bakuchio in my routine and really what should I buy? Okay, <laughs> well the first part is more clear. Um, so in tests, uh, you can use Bakuchio twice daily at 0.5%. Do want to mention that a uh, little insider knowledge for you. Bakuji oil is actually not that stable. So do keep that in mind. Um, we do find that, um, you know, don't think that it's a retinol alternative and just leave it in your car the to window. bake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't challenge your skincare products like that. Yeah, and Bakuji is also oil-based. So use it towards the end of your routine. We'll say it's pretty much in line with the other retinoids. Um, there are some oils out there too. Yeah. Um, so we would want to use that in the later half course. Right yeah, now. for sure. So start with, you know, cleanse, your serum, hydrating, soothing, whatever you prefer, all your water stuff, and then follow up with your Bakuchio. And if it's an oil, you can mix in with your moisturizer or use just use it alongside your moisturizer. Totally. Now, let's briefly touch on product landscape. Um, I actually found myself to be a little perplexed <laughs> shopping for Bakuchio. Um, I think in this category, I feel like you're you look to this category because you want a more chill retinoid experience mm -hmm. and although it's hard for us to say it's a true retinol replacement it's definitely in the anti-aging realm and i think what you'll find is that uh the product category for the most part is actually not that chill mm -hmm. um a lot of these um as we mentioned before are blends with other pretty major hitting actives mm -hmm. so you've got paul joyce it's um they have it in two products their discoloration serum with tranexamic acid and their retinol, um, they have it in combo with retinol. Ole Hanrickson does a blend with HAs. We've also got the uh, blends with peptides. And I do want to caution you guys on that realm. Um, they use it at 1% bakuch uh, Bakuchio, which is fine. But the peptides we've found are general plant extracts. So we can't really speak to the peptide part. <laughs> We're taking a quick break. Don't go anywhere. There's more skincare science right after this quick message. If you're new to us and you feel like you've been missing on all the juicy chemist confessions and education and would like to start from the beginning, definitely check out our book, Skincare Decoded. For all you tactile readers, our hardcover book is an organized guidebook covering the four key actives, retinol, vitamin C, niacinamide, and AHAs, plus skincare routine examples on how to stack skincare products to tackle skin concerns like wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. Head to Amazon to purchase. Did we mention it has over 500 five-star reviews? Do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> so those are the general blends you may find. Um, now, I think for us, I think if you want to try this category, I find myself wanting a product with just Bakuchio. Yeah. Um, and so the Inky does sell one, and then uh, Typology has one. They're both at one percent. So that would be the other avenue if you're just trying. But I think with the other blends with retinol and AHAs, I feel like that's more of an actually more aggressive stance. For sure. I mean, yeah, Victoria is absolutely right. Boils boils down to why you want to try Bakuchio in the first place. If the reason is I just can't tolerate retinoids, I want a more gentle experience. Proceed with caution and proceed with products that basically only has Bakuchio. Yeah, something like a Paul's Choice with Transamic and Bakuchio can also be okay to start with yeah. because Transamic is a pretty mild ingredient as well. Um, so yeah, just be aware of the other retinoid blends and also blends with AHAs. 